Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze and to find out the support reaction for this beam to draw the shear force diagram and to draw the bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. So this is a beam of total length of 9 meter with uh, there is a low there is a no load on a 4 meter span and there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter distributed distributed over the length of 5 meter so the load is only acting on the overhanging portion of the beam now how to analyze this beam and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so first we will start with the support reaction so it is a hinge support so it can take the vertical reaction and also it is a roller support so it can also take the vertical reaction so there is no horizontal load so the horizontal component of this hinge support will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam while the roller support cannot take any horizontal load so there is no horizontal reaction from B now to find out this RA and RB in first step so let's suppose taking the equilibrium equation and let's suppose the moment at any point equal to zero and here I'm supposing it the moment at point B equal to zero at this point, I'm taking the summation of moment at point B equal to zero and taking the clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative. Now, this is our sign assumption. You can change it uh, according to your wish. So here I assume that clockwise moment is taken as positive and anti-clockwise is negative. So now the moment created by this force, this 5 kN per meter, which is a distributed load, so how to find it? So 5 kN per meter is distributed load. So 5 kN per meter, I will multiply it with, with the 5 meter. So if I multiply this, so multimeter will be cancelled and I will get the pointed load which will act at the center of this distributed length. It means 2.5 meter from here. Because 5 meter divided by 2, we got here 2.5 meter. So this load is acting at the center of the distribution length. So now this load is acting here. So this is the a load multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is always equal to the force into moment arm. This is force and this is moment arm. So moment arm here is 2.5. So this was the force if and this was the moment arm. 5 kN per meter multiplying it with the 5. We got the concentrated load which is this one. Multiplying it with the moment arm, which is 2.5, and it is producing the moment around point, about point B in the clockwise direction, so it is taken as positive. The next load that creates a moment about point B is this RA, so it is acting in upper direction and produces a moment about point B also in the clockwise direction, so it will be again positive, plus RA multiplying it with the moment arm, which is 4 meter, so equal to 0. So now if you shift the 1 million to the right side, we will get 4RA equal to minus 62.5. By multiplying these two, I got 62.5. So RA comes out to be minus 62.5 dividing by 4. We got here minus 15.625 kN. Now we got here minus sign with the value here minus. It means that our assumed direction was wrong. This is now to be changed in the reverse direction. It means that the RA is now in acting in the downward direction with the magnitude of 15.625 kN. So negative sign always shows that your assumption was wrong. So here our assumed direction we changed it before it was acting in upward direction. Now we change the direction and now this force, this reaction is acting in downward direction. Similarly how to find out RB, this one. So we will take the summation of equilibrium equation of vertical forces equal to zero. And let's suppose the clockwise, the upward forces are positive and the downward forces are negative. So the upward forces here is RB, which is the only upward force. And then the negative forces are the downward forces are RA is acting downward direction, so minus RA. And also this force is acting in downward direction, which is minus 5 multiplying with the distributed length, which is also 5. So equal to zero. 
So now we will find the RB. If we shift all these values to the right side, so it will become 25 plus RA. So RB comes out to be 25 plus RA is 15.625. So RB comes out to be here 40.625 kilonewton. So this is the RB 40, which is 40. 0.625 kilonewton. So there is no negative sign, so it means that the assumed direction was right. So it means that RB is acting in upper direction. Now, how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram? So we know that this support is acting, reaction is acting in downward direction, and this is acting in upward direction. This magnitude is 40.625 kilonewton. And this one is 15.625, acting in the downward direction, kilonewton. So to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram, first we will draw the reference lines. These are the reference lines. This one is for the shear force in the unit of kilonewton. And the other one will be for the bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now to draw the shear force, so starting from this side, left side, this is zero. So this force is acting in downward direction, 15.625. So I will bring this line down into 15.625, negative because it is acting downward. Then there is no load on the beam, so it will be a straight line. Then there is a load acting in upward direction of 40.625. So minus 15.625 was acting in downward direction, minus 15.625, and this is acting in upward direction, plus 40.625. So we got here, plus 25.625. Sorry, we got only here, plus 25. So by subtracting this 15 from 40, so we will get plus 25. So plus 25 means that it is acting in the upward direction here. So it is here plus 25. Now there is a load of 5 kilonewton per meter acting on the distributed length of 5 meter. So we means it means 5 kilonewton per meter multiplying it with the 5. We got here 25 kilonewton. So 25 was acting in the upward direction, but this load is acting here in the downward direction. So it will be subtracted. So this is plus 25. And this load is minus 25, so we got here 0. So we will bring this here like in this way to 0. So this is the negative shear force and this is the positive shear force a diagram for this beam. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, we will simply calculate the area of each of the shear force and it will be the bending moment values. So consider here A1, area A1 and here is A2. Now the area A1 here a1 area is, this is a rectangle with the width of 4 meter, here is 4 meter, and the height is 15.625, so 4 into 15.625, so A1 comes out to be, here if we calculate uh, this rectangle area, so it is equal to the 62.5. So the area of this is 62.5, it is acting in negative, if the shear force was negative, so we will bring this shear force from bending moment here, here will be 62.5 kilonewton meter is the value here at this point. So this is also negative because the shear force was negative. So 62.5 kilonewton meter value here at this point. Now the area of this is, is a, it is a triangle, so the area of A2 will be equal to the half base into height because it is a triangle so half base is again 5 meter here in this case this is 5 meter so 5 into height which is 25 so from here if we do the calculation we got here also 62.5 but here in this case it is positive shear force this is a positive shear force while it was a negative shear force so this is positive shear force value here, positive moment value, 
and here it was negative so this was negative so now if I add this negative with a positive a1 plus a2 a1 was minus 62.5 and a2 comes out to be plus 62.5 because it was positive so we got here 0 so here at this point we got value of 0 so this is the shear force this is a bending moment diagram for this beam hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force how to find out the support reaction and how to draw the bending moment diagram for uh, any kind of beam if you know the basic principles that how to uh, do it hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video